Hey guys, in this session let us learn how to read any execution plan for a particular given query. It is really easy to understand any execution plan if we follow certain rules. Okay, first one is indentation. So we have spaces in the execution plan. Okay, so based on those spaces we need to read the execution plan. So I will just show you uh, by generating an execution plan on what uh, on how to interpret this indentation. Right. So second one is further when we check the indentation we check right to left. So this is the second rule. Okay. So right to left means whichever that is indented inside will come first and then the plan step which comes the next one which is outside right so here i have a step okay just consider stars so how a star will uh, look like so it looks like this right so similarly in an execution plan step first we read the step which is on the very right which is which is the first right in the step and then which comes next will come further in the plan so let me just show you rather than uh, drawing this so the third one is top down okay so almost 90 percentage of any execution plan can be read using these uh, simple rules okay so as of now you don't need to bother about the remaining 10 percent okay so we just need to understand the execution plan that's it so let me just generate execution plan for a query. So this is very simple. Okay. So here you can see uh, um, there are two steps. And we have an ID column. Okay. So this ID column is just a representation or the um, serial number of all the steps. That's it. It does not represent this. Uh, st the order of the execution right but DBA really uh, concern about the order of execution so which step comes first and uh, which step comes next that is very important so here you can see the indentation right so this is the so here select does not have any space so it is default so you can see you can just draw a line from the title column uh, from the select statement so it is straight to the title column right so this means that there is no space for select statement okay but if you see table access full so here there is a minute space over here which is going inside inside the select statement right so now let us see the indentation so this is called as indentation so this space is represented as indentation okay so in SQL or in, in any coding language we have this co uh, concept called indentation. So if you just uh, research in uh, the internet uh, of, of, of the definition of indentation, you will just find it in Wikipedia or uh, Google. Okay. So now let us just follow right to left rule. So here this particular step is indented almost right in this particular execution plan right so there are no other steps so this is the one which is 
going inside. So this table access full is executed first. Okay. And then followed by the select statement. Right. So we just given select star from this particular table. That's it. So what optimizer does is optimizer generate an execution plan and it just scan all these rows in inside this particular table. That's it. So first it scan all the um, rows with the help of server process, right from um, memory. And if the contents or the rows which are ex uh, which are existing in uh, either disk or memory will be scanned, right? And then it will give all these rows to the select statement or the end user. That's it. So here, this steps come. This particular step comes first and then followed by the select statement. Okay, so this is very simple. So now let us execute another query. So here we have three steps, right? You can see the indentation. So this select statement is straight or parallel to this particular uh, title column. So this is title column, just uh, consider, okay. So select statement does not have any space. So next we need to check where exactly the space is. So here you can see that this particular table access by index row ID step has gone inside, but index skip, skip scan has um, gone further inside further right side right so this means that this particular step executes first okay so just follow right to left rule after that which which particular step has a uh, space so highest spaces in the execution plan executes first that's it Okay, so this particular step index scan execute first, then table access by index row ID execute next, and then this particular select statement. Okay, so this is very simple and straightforward. So let me just execute another query. So here there are four steps, right? So similarly, we don't have any space for select statement, then check the um, step in the execution plan, which has the highest space. So here we have two steps, table access full, which have the same indentation, right? So we have two spaces for table access full and one space for hash join. So how uh, will we interpret this particular plan? Since there are two steps which is which are uh, at the same level. So here we need to follow top down approach or top to bottom rule. Okay. So first this particular table access full is executed. Okay. Then down top down rule. So then this particular table access full is executed and then we need to follow right to left rule. So then this hash join will be executed and then followed by the select statement. So here 
this particular step execute first this particular step execute next then third then fourth just combine right left and top down rule that's it if you see uh, if you see multiple steps on the same level right so always give preference to the steps which are almost right and also top then followed by the left here down okay that's it let me execute another query so here there are multiple steps right again we follow the same rule that's it so here we don't have any space here we have one space two space two space three space four space right so let us just check the step which is almost inside or almost right so this is the step which is almost right okay so this comes first and then followed by the table access by index row id batched so this has three spaces and it is almost towards right then followed by table access full okay and then followed by buffer sort after that merge join cartesian then select statement so here in this particular step we follow top down approach so he had given preference to the rightmost step then again the second rightmost step so here both these steps are on same page or they don't have any difference both these steps have two spaces so that's the reason we need to check whichever step which is coming on top so this is the one which comes on top so you need to um give preference to this particular step then followed by the buffer sort okay and this has only one space so it comes on uh, it comes after these uh, two steps and select statement does not have space so always remember that select statement will be executed last okay so this is the uh, general thumb of rule for reading any execution plan for a query